Hi friends, today is Abby's surgery day. Standing by the front window to get some light because everywhere, everywhere else, we have all the windows shut. There, it's too hot, there. Today is going to be the hottest day here in the Seattle area. Ooh, the light's better right here. And I'm gonna spend it in the hospital with Abby. Mostly waiting for Abby, she's totally fine. I'll have AC, which will be nice. And she'll be somewhat unconscious for most of her stay in the hospital, so she'll avoid the heat as well. Um, so in order for me to be gone for the day, I probably will not be home till 5 or 5.30 tonight. My kids are very capable of taking care of themselves. Kaylee will be here most of the day, and if she leaves, she'll be taking one or two of the kids with her, like Ashley or Chelsea, to go do something or go get some food, and I will reimburse her for that. I just don't have any cash on me. So the only thing I'm worried about is having a hot house when I come home to. Not gonna happen. Let me show you what I've done all over this main floor. Come in and get out fast. Shut the door. <laughs> this is the main door. I try and not have people come in and out this door because this is where all of the direct cold air just goes right out the door. So I'm trying and stay clear of this door. Also, just for reference, um, it is 72 in here. If we can maintain 72 today, that is not bad. I like it to drop into the 60s, but it is probably going to be 95 to 100 degrees today. 72 is not that bad. This is the door going into my laundry room and then my, gar my garage is on the other side. Keep door shut directly over here. Bathroom door and this one shut. Pretty sure it's going to be obvious that these doors should be shut, but just in case it's not obvious, this room is the hottest room close the door behind you because this one needs to be shut too. If you can trap the air in this room, when you come in, shut this door, trap it in here, then open this door. I'm not going to because it's hot air in that garage. You trap the hot air in here, right? And then you quickly open this door, like I'm going to right now. Quick, quick, quick. And look, there's your reminder, shut the door. If they can do that all day and it stays below 75 inside this house, I will be very happy. I would say that I would get them a, an award or a re reward. My eyes look really blue right there. Ooh, I wonder if it's the blonde hair. <laughs> I think it kind of is. Or my blue shirt. I'm already sweaty. <laughs> like I've already like wiped my face. I've like staged me getting ready all morning. Like don't do your hair until the very end and right before you're gonna go. So I just did my hair. Sat on the couch, not doing anything. About a half hour away from taking Abby. Um, I just realized there's still a balloon. No, it's a graduation balloon from Jacob. <laughs> Get rid of that. I actually just got all of Abby's birthday stuff yesterday. I'm all prepped for her birthday next week, which is kind of fun. We're gonna get ready to go and just come along with whatever process I'm able to film. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. go back with Abby during the first part of the procedure to get her anesthesia. She's giving a urine sample right now and then she'll get changed into her gown and whatnot. Um, so I'm kind of excited that I get to go with her and watch that part of it. We also get to meet the surgeon and the anesthesiologist soon um, and talk to them about the procedure. We're in a brand new building so like everything is new. Some of the computers aren't working yet like it's brand new and it's super cool to be like in here but like everyone's like did they talk to you about this? We're like, no, they haven't. And like, okay, everything is so new. Every procedure is new. Moms, you know, get your parents getting to come back for this part of the procedure, watching them get the anesthesia and going under, all of that's new. So, um, anyway, I gotta get this back on because they're gonna come back in here. Abby's doing a urine sample to make sure she's not pregnant. Totally fine. <laughs> totally fine. It's just procedure to get anesthesia. I also get a little iPhone to carry with me. And I have a little code number that I, it's written on here, that I, I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> um, I have this procedure day form that I can follow and places that I can go while I wait. Okay, we actually had a, an hour wait. Um, I look fantastic. I won't show Abby, she's in her gown. But that's what I look like.
hours. Oh, yeah. Let me see what time is it now. Yeah, almost two hours or so, but I'm in this little consult room. Doctor's about to come in and just kind of let me know how it all went. It's all done. And uh, doctor's about to come in and let me know how it all went. And Abby is recovering and then I'll get to go in and see her. So hold me tight. taking my makeup off it's too hot but um what do you think of Abby she's a brave girl I know it's really hot oh no she's great she's doing good yeah it's just gonna be really hot she'll be puffy so tomorrow she's got like black eyes Everything yeah they had to tape her eyes shut uh -huh. during the procedure that's horrible yeah so um she might actually react to the latex you might actually get a rash from that I know I, I would have but it's hot the teenagers are down here they're all out there watching a show so I stole the AC from upstairs and put it into our room it's not even eight o'clock and I stole it and I'm gonna go and sit in my room and try and get it cooled down I'm gonna edit from there because it's too hot in here um, the forecast though I don't think it's good no it's still hot for a couple hot. more days yeah so we may not cool down. No, night. no. But I am going to be in charge of Abby's meds for at least 24 hours. I've got them in my room. I've got a little checklist of when she's taking them, and she I will monitor it. Or you have to wake her up? Um, I might wake her up overnight because it's every four hours, so she doesn't. I mean, I don't. Yeah, we don't want sleep. her to wake up in pain. That's, no. That would be a lot of things. But with the oxycodone, I'm going to just monitor it for 24 hours and make sure she's like coherent enough to understand the medication and do you really need it? Because you have to use it if you really need it and then wean off of it very carefully. So I just talked to my dad about it. He's like, be very careful. If she drops to pain level four, maybe she can just do with ibuprofen. So I'm just kind of go, don't you dare turn that down. What are you messing with that for? No, it's messing with it. So that I'm just pressing this button. That you just changed it. Okay. Well, you're messing with it. You're messing with it. Don't mess with my cool air go. It's hot. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. You don't feel good. You okay? Okay. Well, I'm gonna sign off, with you guys. It's too hot. I am getting Abby's presents in the mail, which is kind of fun because she's so distracted with her teeth that she's not even paying attention. So I've got them hidden around the house and it's kind of fun. So we will sign off with you guys. I'll let you know tomorrow how she's doing. We have appointments all day long tomorrow and I hope she feels well enough to go to her pediatrician's appointment. So fingers crossed. Also, I know it's really noisy in here but I, there's nowhere else for me to go. Um, I was in the room when she first came out of the surgery and so I didn't get any funny wisdom teeth reaction. And she, she wasn't very, that. no, well she didn't want it anyway, but I was going to film it and see what she did, but when I got to her, she was not happy, she was not feeling well, so. She was pissed. Yeah, she was mad. <laughs> that, I knew that was going to be her character, I just wanted to know if she was going to say, have, have words to say, but she was very tight-lipped, but I also don't think I caught the actual loopy stage Which so yes. I didn't get anything what you have seen is all that happened um, I actually didn't film her right when she first came out because I knew that's not really fair to her so we'll sign off with you guys she's doing well surgery went well doctor is very glad it happened during that we did the surgery in the hospital 
the teeth were very impacted and this is going to cause all of her pain to go away in the jaw he's like I think she's easily going to have two years of pain free before we need to do that surgery I think this is what's causing her pain not the actual jaw problem so if we can solve one of her pain areas that is a win in my book but I'm going to go because it is too, too hot in here it's too hot in here <laughs> take care bye guys The magic places in the world I've been to This is where my heart is Oh, you know it's true No matter where I go I'm coming home to you